yeah getting a bit more successful and getting some media attention to um, the Trans Mountain expansion, uh, the protest that's happening here at Holmes Creek, which is a tributary of the Brunette River, which is an important salmon river. So um, <clears throat> just want to acknowledge that uh, this is the traditional lands of the Coast Salish people, including the Coquitlam. Oh, there's chickadees, chickadees. Um, so Wasson, Katsi, uh, Stolo, Quantlin, uh, Tsleil-Waututh, Squamish, and Musqueam peoples. Ooh, I can get the hang of this. So with gratitude to all my relations. Um, I just wanted to reflect a bit more explicitly on um, trees and salmon in this place. Uh, why am I up here? Why am I risking arrest and existing in very cramped conditions 25 meters above the ground? Yeah, one of the reasons is that I am a, a biologist and an environmental scientist and I've spent many years working as an ecologist, so I just love the natural world. There is so much wisdom in nature. And um, yeah, of course, what we're doing here is we're basically stopping the chopping down of trees. So a lot of the big trees that we see have flags on them because they are due to be chopped down to make way for this pipeline. And um, there's also a creek down here, way down there, and that's um, not the kind of thing to be doing in an extinction crisis. We are in the sixth mass extinction that this planet has ever seen. I'll look it up on Wikipedia. Um, they've all been well uh, documented in geological uh, fashion and this is the first one to be caused by a particular species which of course is humans, homo sapiens. Um, so homo sapiens, yeah, we have, we have power, right? We have a lot of power and we also have power to turn things around. Like we're so intelligent, we're social, we can get so much done. So if enough of us rise up against the few, who profit from big projects like Trans Mountain Expansion um, were much more powerful than the elite few. Granted, they do have tanks and ammo and all that stuff, which is why civil disobedience comes in. Uh, Nonviolent direct actions such as this, kind of putting our foot down and saying like, no, we're not in agreement, we do not have consensus. This project is not a consensus. There's, um, I think, 19 First Nations who have explicitly said they do not support the Trans Mountain expansion. There's a lot of conflict there, of course, because the, um, you know, the project boasts uh, jobs. But the fact is, there's only a tiny number of permanent jobs that come out of a project like that. Like, yeah, like 90, I think, is the number. Oh, here come the trains. Speak about salmon. 
Salmon are a keystone species. Um, keystone species mean that they are essential to the health of the ecosystem. It means that without them, the ecosystem will effectively collapse uh, and become degraded into a, a less complex system that's much less resilient. So salmon have a really complex life cycle, or at least these kinds, but I think they're called anadromous. Anadromous, you pronounce it like, I don't know how. Uh, but they basically are spawned as eggs in a river that they go out to sea when they're old enough. And then after like six or seven years, they come back to their home river. How they find it is a miracle, but they come right back to the home stream where they were born in an egg and they do the same process. And it's a huge pulse of life. And, uh, and actually salmon, so the, the keystone part, why they're so essential is because they provide uh, nutrients to the forest, food to countless animals. Um, and yeah, they're a really essential part of the nutrient cycle to put it um, in an unflattering way. So they, they feed bears and everything down the food chain uh, from bears. Um, of course, yeah, they, they feed the forest because when their rotting carcasses are put, are left on the forest floor, of course, all those nutrients that were gathered out at sea that are em 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 embodied in the body of the salmon go into the nutrient cycle, which then gets uh, processed and integrated into the trees and into the berries and into the flowers and into the birds and the into everyone, into the people as well. So, um, of course, salmon is, is the essential spiritual food of the Pacific Northwest peoples. Such an important part of 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 the culture here and actually by by extinguishing salmon from a region from this region is on the same scale as genocide as the genocide that has been happening on turtle island since the white settlers first arrived we have a choice as white settlers as uh, of course any other person whether you're a settler or not uh, we have a choice to, to say what is cool and what is not cool. Building a pipeline, cutting down beautiful trees, a last fragment of habitat, precious habitat, a tributary to a salmon bearing stream, not cool. Especially for a pipeline, pipeline that has a really bad business plan. In fact, it has no business plan. We're going to be the suckers that pick up the bill. So I think prevention is a much better remedy rather than cleaning the guaranteed spills and everything else. There are oil spills all the time. These systems are like so antiquated. Pipelines. Stupid. Okay, that's me. Have a great day. Peace.